I've done a couple of videos on my Emerson CQC 7 with the wave feature. This really is literally one of my favorite uh, folding knives I've ever owned. Well, a couple weeks ago at Blade Show, I had the chance to speak with Ernest Emerson himself about how he came up with this, just in my opinion, ingenious wave feature. That's what we're going to take a look at coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2021 Blade Show. I'm here with Mr. Ernest Emerson himself, the man and the legend. And I told him that this knife that I've been carrying, you've seen two videos on it, the CQC7 is my favorite knife ever. And I really like the wave feature, so I thought I would just ask him, how did you come up with this wave feature? Because I think it is absolutely genius. Well, I wish I could, I wish I could claim that I'm a genius and I thought that up. But it actually was one of those things that happened by accident. And, you know, like so many other things, uh, it just happened, happened as a result of something else we were doing. And I'll tell you what that was. Uh, the Navy SEAL teams had a, um, it was called the Combat Fighting Course Instructors. And they had wanted to develop a fighting type of knife that they could use for everyday chores but also if someone ever got into a, a real tussle with somebody where it was a, a very serious situation and they had, they told me that they wanted to have a knife that had a, uh, a belly on it it had to be this long or that long the blade had to be at least three and a half inches long uh, and they said we'd like to put some kind of a stop on top of the blade that would act as a blade catcher if they ever clashed with someone so that their knife didn't slide down and come up onto their hand. And I said, well, we'll put something on the top of the blade, maybe that'll stop that from, from happening. And I looked at it and I was like, you know, if I make a little hook on it, it kind of looks like a wave. So I thought, you know, it will make it look a little better. It's, it's functional, but you know, I'm, there's, you still gotta make things look good too. So we put that little hook on the top of the blade. The guys came up, I, I live 90 miles north of uh, the Naval Special Warfare Center in Coronado, so they would come back and forth and they came up. I had built the prototypes for them. They said, wow, this is good. I think this is gonna work for us. It's got all the features we needed. It was the commander knife, it wasn't the CQC-7. The commander was the very first one with the wave feature on it. So they went back to Coronado, I had a telephone in my in my garage and I was pulling the knife out of my pocket and as I pulled it out it pulled the blade partially open and I was like ooh I don't know if that's a that might not be a good thing cuz you don't want to pull a knife out of your pocket and have it kind of open up on you but not lock open so I did it a couple more times pulled it out of my pocket pulled it out a little bit faster pulled it out a little bit harder and boom that knife would open up and I was like, holy smokes, you can, you can pull that knife out of your pocket. That wave blade catcher pulls the blade open, and it's instantly deployed. And just as I was doing that, this is the honest to God's truth, just as I was doing that, my phone rings. And it's the guys that had come up that had just left my shop. It took them about 90 minutes to get all the way back down to uh, Coronado. And they go, Ernie, Ernie. Do you know what that knife does when you pull it out of your pocket? And I go, man, I was just, I just found that out myself. And they said, it opens a blade up. And I was like, I know. And they said, wow, that is the coolest, coolest thing. And, I, and then, of course, the next thing he said, and you know what? We can open a beer bottle with it, too. And I thought, okay, That's we covered way. everything. Yeah. So that, that is the story. I wish I could tell you I was smart and figured that out, that it would do it. But it happened. It happened to kind of all by itself, and I, I got to thank the Navy SEAL teams for kind of pushing me in that right direction to do that. But that's the story of the Emerson Wave. That sounds almost like divine intervention, doesn't it? <laughs> it could have been, <laughs> yeah. Well, I need a little of that sometimes. Yeah, we all do. Well, that I just uh, I thought that was it. I was very really curious as to how that came about because I think again it's a genius feature, and, yeah. and it's absolutely it, it's really cool. So. Well, it actually became, a re it, for all of our military contracts and also for a lot of the police departments that we make knives for, uh, that became a, became a requirement for it. So, yeah, because they could deploy it with one hand and they don't have to worry about trying to open it or, or anything like that. So, 
So, well, well, great. Well, thanks for taking a minute. I know it's really busy. My show pleasure, here. indeed. So, you got a podcast, don't you? I do. It's been dormant for a little while, but we've actually got about four or five guests who've already showed up today at the show that we're signing up to have on the podcast. So, we're going to go full steam ahead with that when we get back after the Blade Show. And so, what is the name of that? It's called the Ernest, Ernest Emerson Podcast. There you go. And the quest for the uncommon man. So check it out because I've listened to a couple of them. I think it's pretty cool. And Mr. Emerson, thank you so much for your time, thank man. Thank you very appreciate much. It. I really appreciate it. Thank you it. for watching Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2021 Blade Show.